It is official. This little boy, at the age of 10, has pretty much surpassed Gojo Satoru and is already using hollow purple and not ripping up space and time. Apparently, it was just the clouds that was just like fucking just exposed and that was what you could see into like the space. And then apparently in the manga, because in the anime, we didn't do anything and it reclosed. In the manga, the kid actually closed it with this magic. I don't know how, you know, uh, how legit this is. I'm just reading random comments. Now, on top of that, there is the Kung Fu girl, right? There is the martial arts girl, right? Seems to be kind of like um, Chinese oriented. I forget her exact name, but we were catfishing because Lloyd is a... Uh, he transformed. He's a little boy, but he transformed into like an adult. And the Kung Fu girl, right? Tao Aru. She is like, oh my God, he's so handsome. Oh, raise, raise, glaze, glaze, but... When the inevitable happens and we transform back to little boy mode, like how is that gonna work out? I don't know. Let's begin today's reaction. Ooh, a skeleton thing. Hollow purple. Yo, Lloyd really looks like Rudy here for Mushoku Tensei. It is literally the same hairstyle. Facial structure, I'm not really sure, but like the hairstyle with the little ponytail at the back, this is the gray rat hair, bro. Uh, careful. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. To protect him, she's doing this. Oh, she's trying to protect Robert or Lloyd. Yeah, anyways, that's so nice. She's, she's so nice, but we can do it. Yeah, my big up couple bones, but it's okay. Why is a lich here in a low-level dungeon? Did it scale with Lloyd's strength here? How does how does that work? She's too good. She's trying to help us escape. Oh man! No opening. No opening episode, yo! It's gonna be a hype episode. This is the most nonchalant way of getting blown away right now. Hmm, looks like she's semi-flying. Right, the breathing techniques, a different type of, you know, like a resource instead of mana, you have key. Oh, they didn't die. They didn't die. She's trying to protect you, bro. What's up, Grim? What's going on? Silpha. Silpha is just like... Doing all kind of shit with Lloyd right now. Probably. We're getting baited. We're getting baited. Silpha, Silpha. 100% Silpha fan service. Silpha probably got him in that fucking booby lock, bro. Just face all in the bosom. Just... Aru! You're doing it! The clothing is gonna get more cut and cut, right? We should get out of here too, now. You know about Key, Mr. Lich? You ate someone? What do you mean? Yeah, when he protected Aru from that. Yeah, he's very just interested in magic and anything like that. People on the continent treat chi techniques like some kind of backwater martial art. I mean, the lich just straight up said like it's a lesser form of mana. Interesting. Okay, so in a in a land predominant in predom uh, predominant in mana and just like magic, this like martial arts is like looked down upon. I think martial arts is fucking sick though. Oh, look at that blood. Breathing technique. Breakthrough. <laughs> this is a lot of frustration coming out right now. This is the reason why she's single, huh? Even when it was snowing, even when it was raining, like an idiot. I just fucking trained this martial arts. <laughs> Didn't get a boyfriend. You're still shitting on me saying martial arts is trash. <laughs> I get the frustration. Is it breaking? All the way. So look at that key cannon! Basically a Kamehameha. She falls. Lloyd shows up. Where? Lloyd, where you at? 
われ結界を貫いた貴様渾身の記述すら指先一つで Is it really? わまわる Lloyd acknowledges it She didn't waste her life Here we go Main, 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 main character, main character Nah Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd How the? He just shows up with this goddamn fucking barrier, bro. You see this? How the f why is she facing that direction? Well, how what do you fucking mean? Wait, uh, she uh, Okay, she was. Okay, okay, it does make sense. It does make she she was facing the other way. I'm like, how the fuck does this work? Okay, okay, she was facing the other way. I'm like, did they just randomly fucking position her ass? Yeah, this makes sense. This makes sense. This is not shameless fan service, it's just fan service. But still, makes sense. Oh shit, he got that look again. Oh shit, he got that crazy look again. To save you, of course. Oh yo, that look in his eyes. Scary. Uh, some kind of magic. <laughs> Key! Key! He combined the key and the mana together? Wait, wait, it's, it's still cooking? Aru! Aru! Oh shit. Oh my god. Bro is taking the fucking fattest vape hits right now. Look at those vape clouds, bro. He's. Okay. No way. That was the plan. No, 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 no. Fully combined. Key and mana. He released it himself. The barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The barrier. So, like, this entire thing is, like, he just needs to breathe a shitload and then it builds up more, basically, key to become, like, stronger. Just keep fucking sucking it in. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? It looks more dangerous than a hollow purple. It's a yin and a yang. Some kind of blade. So that yin yin yang circle basically can just work like a whip like attack. Destructo disc? <laughs> Wait, this is just Destructo disc. So like, he can't do this with mana only? This is key and mana? This is only possible? <laughs> what else you got? Double! Double Destructo disc! No incantation. So the significance here of key being better in mana is the fact that we have no lag. We don't need to incantation anymore. Key is just instant with the breathing technique. So that is the advantage. What the fuck is this animation? <laughs> this is kind of funny. <laughs> Look at him. Cause it's not just key, baby. It's both. Imada. <laughs> Yo. The classic bakana, bro. That could that clean hit. It cut so fucking clean. The light just ends him. <laughs> Classic. Classic. I'm worried because this is, you know, a little boy. Y you're, you're in for a surprise, Aru. How is Aru going to think when, you know, our true identity gets revealed? That was the fucking item in the chest. That was... Oh, it's a low-level dungeon, right? It was a fucking low-level dungeon. Like, it makes sense. What the fuck? <laughs> 
More important than the knife is the fact that we got her and we also learned a key technique and to combine key and mana so that we can skip the incantations. Uh. Wait! Hold up! Hold up, hold up! Shouldn't we get out of here? Okay. Uh, so, are we gonna actually pull out the dungeon? It's like a living thing that I, I, wait, wait. That's an interesting theory. That, that's an interesting theory. Wait, wait. We should get out of here, bro. Well, I'm kind of interested in what's pulling it underneath. What is it? Nothing. That was an interesting theory, though. Very sussy. Very sussy. Dun... Dun Jussie. It's, it's a Dun Jussie, bro. Cuz, skip the incantations. No, I don't think so. Probably not. It just thinks that key was already good. Yeah, it's just interesting, right? Alright, Silpha! Silpha, uh, basically suffocating, uh, Grim. Wait, that was a secret key blast? Wait, wait, it's an actual thing? Wait. Really? I thought he was just making shit up, but this is an actual key technique. One of the secret key blast techniques, key blade. Alright, Aru. Bye, Aru. So she basically don't know. Like, I don't know when we're gonna meet next, but the identity of Robert. We're gonna still be consistent with that. And yes, one final gyat for Aru. Bye, Aru. I don't think you wanna try to get a 10 year old boy's, you know, attention, but. This is really far away. Okay. Grim. Grim. Sofa. Sofa. Well, I thought Sofa was just like, you know, suffocating Grim in her bosoms, but she just fucked him up. All oh, the training sessions. They were doing training. I see. I see. <laughs> She's actually cracked though. Silpha is actually insane. If you go back to episode one or two when they're like doing the sparring, she was keeping up pretty fucking well. Obviously she couldn't tell that Lloyd was using four different skills, but she did notice the multi-skill usage. I think Silpha's actually cracked too. Oh, uh, we're gonna have the little chibi moment right now. There we go. Ignored. A, a lot. Okay, so basically infinite bang. Bottomless bag. I mean, we brought back to a fucking dungeon chest, though. Okay, the knife that we got from the dungeon. What are you gonna do with it? You're gonna cook it? Oh, restoration technique. This is cool. You're peeling some kind of incantation on it? I don't know. I, I, sometimes I see content like this on TikTok where it's like restoration. People take like old shoes, old watches, really rusted knives, stuff like that. And they'll like bring it back to like, it looks almost like new. It's really cool. Mana Essence. Bald! Gotcha. Boost! Okay. Very rare, the mana essence. Oh, just fucking make copies. Why not? Yeah. Uh, sure. Whatever. Chemistry. It's like our little ecosystem built in the little... Beaker? Wait, what are we cooking up right now? They're really in sync. Okay, this is the king. I think? Uh, what are we doing here? Yo, imagine this is fucking Spice and Wolf, bro. This is what's happening with all the fucking silver, bro. This, this is the current state of the fucking economy, bro, and Spice and Wolf. Okay, Lloyd's back. That's right. The real OG is back. Oh, oh, oh. Incantationless. <laughs> See? 
this is why I say Silpa's fucking cracked, man. I feel like she's really OP, and we just see, you know, cute moments like this. There are some really important, you know, in, in, like hype battle fights, but she takes it so easy. I want to see her get serious. Now that was grim, but I'm surprised she didn't catch on. I thought that she'd be the first one to catch on, you know, who Lloyd, like, a Grim is because she's such a, like, I don't know, she she just fawns over Lloyd. So it's like, even if, like, the single stratum hair was different or the way that he, like, breathed or walked was different, he would just, like, immediately know. But looks like we're going to continue with the running gag and we're just going to beat the fuck out of Grim whenever we leave him here. Exactly, what kind of fucking mate does that, right? So far, cracked. Nah, beyond that, how about God? What the fuck are we cooking up, bro, with all the silver and oil? The magic essence, the knife. <laughs> this looks so devious. <laughs> These chibi moments are funny as fuck, because it's so dark in here too, right? They're just like smiling. It just looks like a fucking evil lab. Okay, now we need extra weapons to enchant shit. Big bro will help, right? Oh yeah, perfectly normal thing for a 10-year-old kid to ask for, yeah? Oh, what a little cute brother! I'll give you all these fucking weapons. Yeah? No, not, not really. No, no sir, I don't want to be test rest. Alright, take it all. These poor soldiers, but we have all the money! Why are we getting- Come on, we should be able to buy our own shit! Yeah, just say no then. Grim. What are you looking for, Grim? What was- Why, why was uh, Grim uh, mad there? Why was Grim jealous here? Of all the swords? We were... With Robert. Got the swords. Poor knight. Cause we, they shit, cause they kind of like, kind of adjusting about the 10 year old kid. Really? That's it? Look at, fantastic. Something I need to work is being turned into kids. Oh, because Grim also believes in the research that we're doing, right? He's very enthusiastic about this. How dare you disrespect what we're cooking up? Gotcha. That's what he's mad about. Jesus Christ. All right. Grim is super motivated. Magic weapon now? Right, because this magical enchant is called boost, right? It's just like a specific one. So this should be able to this should be like the most cracked magic essence ever, right? Oil? All that fucking work and you drop a little oil, it just fucking breaks. I feel like we should do we even need to do the entire sword? Because I feel like if you do the entire sword and you coat it and then you drop the oil and it breaks, that's like wasted time. So you should do a little bit. Drop the oil and see if it works, and then do the rest? I don't know how this works. Grim is like the number one fan. Uh-oh. Are we gonna go to the last one? Okay. CGI. That's pretty decent, right? I was straight up waiting for like only one to work or something. Oh, we were cooking up something, all right. Oh, he just got greedy and he was like, maybe I can do a little bit more after that. And then it broke. How strong are these swords now? Damn. 10% for like a professional. Meaning out of the 120, only 12 will succeed. But we had 80 out of 120. 80 out of 120 is like what? That's like um two thirds of it, right? That's like uh sixty six point six 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 Oh you got no clue bro Robert Robert y'all got no idea This one this one looks special Disrespect Sofa kill him Sofa kill him You hear that? Wait you hear that? What'd you cut off? Your own scabbard, bro. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, Grim, let's go. <laughs> okay, this is crap. This sword looks special, right? Look at the amount of the magic enchantment we put on it. Robert, show me it, bro. Monster Hunt. Next episode?
And that's another episode of Sussy 7th Shoda. Man, I like this girl a lot, man. She was so good. Tao Aru, her whole thing was like, you know, key is martial arts. And it's a different form of, you know, combat where magic is mana. But people think that key is inferior. So she just been working every day, training key, day in, day out, rain, snow, whatever. And she still don't got a boyfriend. And she still can't use the fucking, you know, the key blade that Lloyd fucking just used. Because why? He just fucking cracked. Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd is just too fucking good, right? But she never knew at the end who Lloyd really is. Because he didn't transfer him back until he flew away. So this, this little relationship between a 10-year-old kid and this girl who's trying to find a boyfriend continues in, uh, in, in bliss, right? In bliss. Right? That's right. Blind bliss. Sofa... Great as usual. Now, we got to learn more about like different mechanics here, like imbuing uh, swords with magic, because the whole point was to the dungeon was to get that knife. Well, that wasn't really the point, but we got that knife. And the knife, it turns out, has some magic intent. It had what's called a boost, right? Then we copied a bunch of boosts. And now, I'm really just excited to see what these swords are capable of. Because it sounds like with these swords, any regular knife is going to be fucking cracked. Like, look at this sword, man. Look at this sword. Well, that's it from me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist, and until next time, take care.